I'm Mike Harbour and I'm here at West Warwick Country Club for this month's Local Links Golf Tips. First tip is to help you get a larger turn in your golf swing. The more turn we can create in our backswing, the more turn we're going to have on our follow through, which will then in turn give you more distance. We want to create a body turn. A lot of golfers tend to swing the golf club with just their arms up and just their arms down, creating a cut across swing. To create more power, you have to wind your body up. Through your peripheral vision, you can see your left shoulder will now turn over your right knee. And as you can see, I have this right over my right knee here. And then take my right shoulder and move it over my left leg and my follow through. This is gonna create a much larger turn, bigger arc in your backswing, and a much larger finish so that you can get finished onto your right toe. The second tip, will be to teach you how to hinge the golf club so that we can create a second lever in your golf swing. This hinge will take place somewhere halfway up into your backswing and then it'll unhinge somewhere halfway up into your follow through. As you swing, you, you are going to begin to hinge your wrist. And as you hinge your wrist, you're creating what we call a second lever in a golf swing. So as you create this second lever, you will now be able to return back down to the golf ball and unhinge those wrists to create more club head speed. I have put a tee at the end of my golf club. That tee is to help you point the tee halfway back, whereas it points towards the ground halfway up, and on the way through, it points halfway up on the way through as you make your backswing and your downswing. So as we're making those turns, we turn, hinge the tee, swing back, unhinge the tee, and follow through. This in turn will create more club head speed. I'm Mike Harbour, and that's this month's Local Links Golf Tip. I'll see you on the links.